Okay, so I I I just woke up and I'm hungover. So this is I'm a little out of it, but I just received this package from Japan, and it is the gum base. I've been very excited to receive this package since I since I ordered it. Comes with a little pamphlet that is in Japanese, and here is my gum base. You might be wondering, what the fuck is a gum base? Well, my friend, a gum base is a little musical instrument, and it looks like this. It needs batteries, I suppose? Okay, it needs two double A's, I guess, but you go like this. And go like that. Wait, you have to, you can raise this up. This bit gets raised up. Yeah. Okay. Then you wrap the band around. That's the, the pickup. I don't know if you can see that. There's a, a pickup there. And then it's an instrument. You probably can't hear it. Well, maybe I can put some batteries in it. Well, I have fucking hundreds of AA batteries and two AAA batteries, which does need to be working. So, uh, I guess I gotta go find some other batteries. Hey, I went out and I bought some new batteries. Now, immediately, and of course, oh, of course, this is a pretty obvious problem, right? Which is, it has no frets and a very short scale length. So, it's going to be quite hard to hit notes. A little bit tricky. Um, also, the speaker's kind of shitty, but I, I kind of like the sound. It gives like a really cool DIY. Yeah, I, I really like this shitty speaker. Um, I will try plugging it into uh, my, my, my computer and get hearing the fully, fully beefed up bass sound, but... Uh, I really like it. It could be great for some like noise rock stuff. There's all sorts of techniques you could use. You could play it like an upright. Upright, I don't know about that. Consider it down on the table. You can tap with it. This is so sick. There's so many different like options. It reminds me of a, uh, a U-Bass which also has a similar kind of uh, vibe with, with like thick strings on a ukulele body to get a bass sound. Um, obviously, the way it works is that if your string is really thick, it takes a lot of energy to vibrate it, and so it's going to vibrate slower, i.e. and then that means it's in a bass register. Thinner strings mean less weight to move, less inertia needed to push the string, so it's going to have a higher pitch. You already know that. I don't know why I'm explaining it. And it has this little piezo contact at the bottom, which you raise up, you turn it on, and then it has a speaker built in here, which, because it's shitty, adds like this really sick, like, overdrive. Another thing that's a little strange about this is that because there's no the string isn't fixed, right? So you can like... And then maybe... You know, like it's not going to be always in tune. So you're going to have to... If you're actually planning to, to use this instrument consistently as like a real instrument, you're going to have to tune it first by adjusting... Yeah, which I think is fine. 
can't really strum it. I'm trying to do like a triplet. Yeah, it's not really, not really viable. I wanted to try this with a pick. I feel like it's not really a, a maybe you could use a pick with it. I feel like it's not designed for a pick, but uh, it could be interesting. Also, can you talk into it and have it come out? Maybe a little bit. Oh. That's an interesting sound. So the octave is like somewhere just above the middle where it connects. That sounds so weird and cool. It almost sounds like a synth, like a pluck, pluck synth. <laughs> it's a bit wacky. It's a bit of a wacky thing. It's also, it's very, like, I, it's a little weird. It's so light and small that it's easy to hold while you pluck it. With it with either hand or both hands, or sort of, I've been like pushing it against my chest, right? But it's kind of uncomfortable because of how sharp these sort of cut plastic bits are. So I'm, I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe like a, it's got to be sort of a better way to hold it. I mean, maybe it'd be possible to somehow connect a strap to this. You could like drill a thing in here, maybe. There's kind of probably electronics in there. I'm not sure how you would do that. Maybe you could uh, hang it off of a spring and then have like a lanyard, kind of like the way a, like a saxophone strap works, maybe? That's interesting. So it's kind of producing two tones when I'm doing that. Because every time I'm striking it, I'm, I'm also tapping it. Interesting. This is such a cool little thing, man. Okay, let's get it attached to a computer and see what the fuck it really sounds like. see what it sounds if I can make it sound like chunky I'll double track it I'll add some drums see what it sounds like <laughs> Extremely happy with this little guy. 
It's extremely cool. I'm glad I bought it. I'm very glad I bought it. I, I bought one of the last ones they had in stock. Almost missed it. But uh, thank you, Samurai Guitarist, for <laughs> making a video with this in it so I could find out about it. And uh, thank you, Mewa Denki, for producing this fucking crazy little piece of uh, nonsense. You don't know, by the way, this is made by the same people that make the, uh, the automaton, I think it's called. The little, it's like a little electronic instrument with a little mouth that you, and like a little touch sensitive, capacitive thing that makes pitch. I didn't expect those guys to make some of this fucking brutal, you know? It, it, the distortion on it sounds sick. Let me through, I got a crush on you